So guys, today we're going to be taking a look at another ancient guide and today it's going to be fully focused on the CT side and all of the utility and needs that you need to know. And I say all, by that I mean the essential utility that you absolutely must know whether you're a low level face of player, high level face of player, you're playing matchmaking. This is the sort of utility that if you're playing the map regularly or you're starting to play the map, you just need to know it. And this is actually part two of the ancient guide. Part one will be linked down below and that's where we looked fully on the T side of things. So if you do enjoy the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for new around here. And let's go right into it by taking a look at some of the utility you can throw when you're playing A side. The first combo is going to be something that I learned while watching a ROP breakdown of how he plays A. And essentially it's a molly and a need that you want to do down A main early on to get control. The first one's going to be the molly and you're basically going to come and you're going to bank it off this wall. And all that's going to do, if you bank it off this wall, it just mollies deep, which means if anyone were to come and try and swing here, they'll burn in the molly. And then with the molly you want to throw a need like this, that lands there. So if they do want to stand in the molly and burn, you can then take a fight. Or if they'll try and avoid the molly, they'll get hit by the need. Either way, you're taking full control of me and by just simply doing the following, like so, and you're going to put, you're going to be able to take either control of main, or you're just going to push them back. Next up is if you're playing big box, you want to smoke main, you just want to run into the back corner here, you're going to aim basically at where these this top leaf is, you're going to throw off with that normally, and that's just going to bounce and smoke main absolutely perfectly for you, and then you can continue to play from here. The other options is if you want to use util early, and you're just running onto site, uh, or maybe you're running to donut to support, or you just want to delay, you can basically just bank util off anywhere in this sort of vicinity. So if I were to throw the smoke like this, it's going to bounce, and it's going to smoke fully like this. The molly you want to aim a little bit further to the right, so it'll bounce and actually bounce a bit further in, like so. And then you've mollied main, and you can then either just play off it, you know, you just simply cause the delay, or then you can go play donut. There is a way you can use the defensive smokes as well, and the main way for that is essentially just dropping a smoke around this sign area. So just right click through, drop a smoke of some sort, and you can just play around it in a myriad of ways. You can either sit in the smoke, you can sit in the smoke like this and just wait for them to push, and you're just waiting for them to peek. You can play in it like around like this sort of angle. Rob plays it in many different ways, but essentially it's just having holding the smoke maybe at the start. So you've done your molly, you've done your nade, you're holding the smoke so you can drop it in this vicinity just so it gives something to play off. You can even go to default boxes and just hold. Essentially, at this point, you're just pre aiming an angle and waiting for them to swing, and they're not going to be sure where you're playing because of the smoke. And then we've also looked at mid support flashes, so basically anywhere from this vicinity of default. Um, if you just like throw over here and you jump through, it'll go really high and that'll catch most people playing mid. Same from here, you can run jump through, and that's going to catch. You can jump through like so. And then that'll catch a lot of mid out. So that's just a support flash. People come calling for it. Simply do this. It's going to flash high and catch the people pushing mid. Then for mid players, the first thing is going to be the mollies and needs you can throw while pushing out. And this first set is going to be if you're the mid player. Molly in hand, just throw it from here. The main thing is it's going to bounce and that's going to delay them. You can see the full spread there. That'll catch anyone trying to make a play. The same thing goes for needs here. You can simply just throw a nade off that W and then it's going to bounce fairly high and catch them. You could do an earlier molly, pull the nade out, and then also nade, and then take the fight. They're going to be caught in the molly, they're going to be nade it, and you, there you go, you're taking fights. But then is a deep molly and a deep smoke that you can do by lining up with this vine, and this is recommended to be the second player coming out, and the, the player that's likely going to go to donut. So you're going to be looking at the vine, sort of aiming roughly here, and then once you get to this point where you see the bottom of the vine, you want to release it. So it's going to be something like so, and essentially this is going to bounce, bounce, and it's going to molly like this, and that's going to catch deep elbow. So you'd have a molly here close, you'd have a molly deep, maybe you're throwing a knee in as well, and you're going to fully trap them in. So this is the exact lineup for it here, you can see this B sign, you want to basically line up with it, and then you want to be throwing through this leaf, and that's just going to fall out, and it's going to catch anyone that's aggressing from bottom mid. So you're just going to come in and touch this wall like so, you're going to aim here, normal throw. And that's just going to catch a deep smoke elbow completely. You're going to tuck into the left hand corner here. You can see where the bot was throwing it from. And then you're going to simply do a jump throw from this spot. And then you're going to see how it lands. And that's going to be a reasonable for elbow. Now it does have a lot of bounces. It takes a while to go. 8.4 seconds. You can see that there. But it is a reasonable for elbow. And then the last thing really is going to be the flashes that land into Xbox. And don't blind anyone from mid. And the main goal for that is you're going to throw them in like this. But you'll see the way they pop. They're popping behind that. 
which means anyone in your team that's going mid isn't going to be caught and they can fully focus this fight. But the guys that are coming from mid on the T side, that flash is going to land right here. It's going to catch every single one of them. And then even if they're trying to look away from it, like so, you're going to have someone. So you're going to have a teammate that's throwing that flash. Someone's going to push like this and aggress, not blind at all. And then either the T's are going to be looking away from the flash and you catch them, or they're going to get full blinded. Now for B players, the first thing really is Molly and Close with then Deep Nade. So Molly and Close. They were a bit lower, throw something like that. And then also what you can do is just do a deeper nade. So it goes beyond the molly, so if they're delayed by the molly and they're waiting, you then catch them with a the nade. It is a lane flash that you can throw from coming into this wall, looking like so. Aim in here and then jump through it. And this is normally if you've done that earlier, you tell you've got control and now you want someone to go swing for it. So you jump through from here, land and blinds perfectly for people on lane or near door. There is the lane molly and nade combo, which is essentially just throw it at anything over in this vicinity. That's going to land like so, and then you also want to throw a nade over, and you'll see, you're going to catch anyone that was doing that early push, so this is sometimes util if you want to stop that cave rush, and I keep in mind now T's get a spawn, where they can beat CT's to cave, so maybe the person who's not playing cave, the other support player, cave player will throw a molly while he's running here to get that done, then the other player is going to come, throw a molly, also throw a nade over, and you're going to catch them rushing, throw it to the right, aim at the trees, that'll go over, and that'll also catch in for a deeper part of lane, like that, if you want, some options for you. There's a fast cheetah smoke if you want to go for a mid pick, so say you're the key player, you're coming out. So for the fast cheetah smoke, I'm going to be in this area of key of aiming here, and it's going to be a move throw. So you're going to throw it while you run, it's going to bounce and land like that. They can't see you through it, despite it looking, maybe there's a tiny little one way gap. Essentially that smoke goes down, and it means you can fight the player swinging mid without being shot, well you can be shot through the smoke, but... Not, they can't see you visibly through it, so you just throw that smoke down in this area here. You then swing, and then you can take this fight out to mid. And if you combo that with these um, Xbox flashes and people aggressing from mid, it should be a very easy pickings for you, your CTs, to win that fight mid and get the map control. There is an instant lane flash as well, where you want to come. It's hard to say. You want to come into this area of what would be short coming from alley. You can see exactly what the bot just did. So you're aiming at the right hand side of this tile. Run it forward, run it forward, and then jump through. Boom! It's going to bounce and catch them. If you throw it a little bit sooner, there's a chance that it'll just pop in the air. Anything like that, you can kind of lose off it. This is the ramp smoke from CT, which is a crouch jump throw. So you can see the spawns here. It's very hard for me to really pinpoint where you're doing that. You can see this brick on the right, and you're just aiming above this dot on this stone. This one's a very weird lineup to learn, but it could be good to know. Say so it's a crouch jump through. Crouch jump through looking at this goes through the pillar and then it lands and smokes the ramp. So this is an alternative rather than throwing that molly and nade combo right from spawn if you want to go in position elsewhere. Maybe your A player wants to throw this or a donut player if you want to sacrifice the smoke. Throw that off the bat and then you can smoke a ramp for your B players. And then we also have a combo for taking deep ramp control early on and this is a smoke and a molly. So you can see the kind of, it's really hard to tell from the distance but there's like this weird yellow texture on this leaf. That's what you're looking for. You can see the yellow leaf, you want to be a bit further to the right so it's not going to catch anything. So you're just going to run through it like this. You'll see that's going to catch there, that's going to go, and that's going to smoke doors. Put up with a molly like so, just it lands right in front of the smoke, and you'll see what it is here. It could be a finicky lineup, so you want to practice it, but it has a smoke, it has a molly, but you can get all the way deep into lane. So that's going to smoke them off. If they try to push through, they're going to run into a molly, so they're going to take damage, and that'll put them off if you are aggressing anyway. You can do all of that. And then get into this position. You'd have a smoke indoors like so. You then have a molly sitting around about here. With how it goes. And then you can just watch for this lean push. If someone tried to go into Kiev and cheat area. Okay and then for the smoke from long to re-smoke top ramp. You want to aim basically. You can see these two pillars here. But you want uh, these two blocks to aim at the top. But aim slightly to the left of it. And you're going to do a jump throw. And you'll see the smoke's already down. But it'll bounce and then it's going to go and catch off the wall and then bounce back into the vicinity and that re-smokes top ramp. And then whilst you're here, you might also want to flash your teammate into Kiev. And obviously you are visible from Kiev following the update on Ancient. But this will still work even if you want to have protection. You move stand in a position like this and you throw and that'll pop in like so. So you can do it tucked into the wall even in this position. But if you want coverage, aim at, basically aim from long at the same position. And it's going to flash in like so and catch them. And that does cover the B side of things for normal items. And then we're going to look at five retake needs I recommend you doing as well. First is going to be the A main retake where you want to come into this corner. You're going to aim just to the right hand side of where the corner of this building is like so. And you're going to do a lovely little jump throw. And you'll see how this one hits. 
gonna bounce like so and smoke off there and that'll essentially smoke up anything that was in main and you might want to be able to go for a diffuse there's also a retake flash from back well back hall or back temple depending on what you want to call it so in this one you're going to line up here and this part of it kind of left hand side of this brick aim here you could do a normal throw over it's going to flash and catch the whole of sight and then we have a key of retake smoke that's a little bit of a finicky line up so essentially this wall and cp going to come up onto it like so and it's essentially looking at this yellow leaf a little bit above it in this area do a normal throw somewhat loose with it and that's going to bounce and then land for cave if you're near alley and you're wanting to take um some long control you can do some flashes here so essentially all you have to do is jump through from this position and that's going to help and catch long so if you've got someone that's maybe going to go for a peak you have the retake b site you just come here look at the edge of that box and throw i'll shoot exactly where it is you can kind of do it loosely in this sort of vicinity here just so you're not getting peaked from there so stay hidden you'll see the left corner of the box anywhere in this position and just jump through and lovely stuff there is also two more retake smokes i said five we're doing six until this is the key of retake smoke now i was trying to use a key of retake smoke that i used for ages and i couldn't get it to work so i've done a new line up for it so basically you want to tuck into the wall and this was in it here you're not the whole way into it just loosely in now you want to do those flashes already to take a long control to know you're safe to do this but essentially you're just going to aim at this part of the barrel you're going to run forward and jump through like so you watch the ball do it there, and it's going to land in like that, and then you're smoke cave. And then finally, there's a retake smoke for ramp, and obviously at this point, you need to make sure that you've got long control, definitely. You're not going to get swung, or at least have a teammate holding it. You also have to care for sure, so at this point, you won't get spotted. But if they've got someone close short, they might come and kill you. So what you want to do here is you want to line up with this part of the box to your central with it, and you can see where these two points meet. So first point, second point, they meet kind of in this area here, and you just go do a normal throw. And that's going to bounce land there and then that's going to smoke off ramp and importantly the big thing for this is going to smoke off the player that's playing in this weird corner a lot of people like tucking in this corner post punt so this completely cuts them off so guys, a slightly different format for the for the util this time obviously we're just running through it detailing all as we go nice and quickly let me know what you think of it or if you prefer the versions where we have like the text on screen and a very clear breakdown one by one by one of the needs let me know what your preferences and we'll mix things up moving forward to suit what you guys think works best but like i say use these needs to improve your ct side on ancient let me know if you think i've missed any because i'm sure you think you will think i have missed some and it's very easily done with how many needs exist in csgo at the minute but hit that like button hit that subscribe button guys thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one goodbye